Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. Pa -pa! And today we're gonna have a quick, nice review of a dirty stuff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. My name is Zeno, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And in today's episode, we have the Mercedes AMG GLE 53. And it's winter, it's absolutely cold, so I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible. Okay, let's get serious because we have to take a deeper look at what makes this AMG GLE 53 different and highlight if it's really worth it. If you want to see a full in-depth review of the regular GLE 400D Coupe, click the link above. But in this one, we're gonna get some fun. My cameraman is actually getting very cold, so I have to be even quicker. No more crap. So I really want to highlight what makes this AMG GLE 53 different and tell you at the end of the review, is it worth it? So let's talk about the design of this car. Well, to be honest, the new design of it, it looks like a fish to me, but it has grown on me with the time and especially with this AMG spec, it looks really, really good. What undoubtedly is absolutely awesome about this car is the rear. So let's move there. <laughs> and after that fail attempt to do a very cool transition, undoubtedly my favorite part about this car is the rear and I absolutely and honestly think that it is the best looking rear out of all coupe SUVs for 2020 and especially in this AMG spec with the old school four round AMG exhaust tailpipes. But looks is always subjective. So who am I to actually tell you if this car is a good looking or a bad looking? What undoubtedly is absolutely awesome is the exhaust sound. So let's have a listen. And just listen to it, it's unbelievable. It has the crackles and pops, despite that it has a soft limiter and an OPF, which stands for Auto Particular Filter. For the people outside Europe, it's quite simple. It pretty much means we are over in Europe and we are not allowed to get good noise. But this one, I'm very, very surprised. Well done, Mercedes. 
Let's talk about specs. The old generation 43 is now replaced by a 53 and that name change has a couple of reasons. Number one, it gets a bit more horsepower. In this generation, we get a mild hybrid technology combined to a inline six cylinder turbocharged petrol engine, which adds up to a total of 435 horsepower and 520 Newton meters. And despite these numbers, it is actually quite slow. 5.3 seconds, so not exactly impressive, but understandable considering its weight of 2.3 tons. And the second reason, and probably the more important one, is the very smart branding for Mercedes-Benz by bringing the 53 number closer to the 63 so it can trick more new customers into thinking that they got into the real AMG at only the fraction of the price. And talking about the price, this one very well specced at around 90,000 euros. So not exactly cheap, but I guess this is how much it costs to enter in the AMG world. The interior of this Mercedes AMG GLE 53 is not much different than the regular GLE Coupe, which I've reviewed recently. And if you want to see the full in-depth interior review of this car, click the link that will be up above. About this car, another area where it shines a lot. You get absolutely amazing view and you can see the luxury surrounding you. Even in these darker colors, although you can always choose completely different trims and specs, the AMG performance seats are very well bolstered and extremely comfortable, perfect for this SUV and this gorgeous looking AMG steering wheel. You also get the two 12.3 inch digital driver displays as well as the latest and greatest MVX system. And if you know me already and you're watching my videos, then you probably know that I'm sucker for Mercedes ambient lighting system. It is for me the right amount of colors at the exactly right places. Let's start off the driving part in this car in its most comfortable setting because at the end of the day this is not the full fed 63 and the more comfortably oriented 53 which is the middle range of the AMGs. And before we dig in any further, I really want to touch up upon the EQ Boost hybrid driving system. It is not your typical system that you're used to having that will let you drive the car on electricity only at lower speeds around the city, nor you'll be able to plug it overnight to get some extra miles from that overnight charging. It is more there to actually help you get some extra horsepower to make the experience a bit more pleasant for the start-stop system and it will help the car coast at higher speeds as soon as you lift off the gas. With that said, let's check if this 53 MG has that sporty character that we all associate with the brand. Let's put the car in its most sporty setting, which is Sport Plus. Everything immediately gets sharper and don't expect too much from it to be honest because at the end of the day, thanks to its battery, it is around 2.3 tons, so quite a heavy car and not particularly thrilling to throw around corners. Or at least that's what most of your typical journalists are gonna tell you. I can promise you, we've driven this car very, very hard today on the winter tires in this very muddy and rainy conditions on a wet tarmac in a cold day and it performed flawlessly. The drivetrain and the gearbox are tuned very, very well for smooth power delivery. And this exhaust with all the crackles and pops is absolutely awesome. And this for a car of 2020, I don't believe it. It actually makes you forget that we live in a world full of regulations, emissions, OPFs and all that nonsense. Even though that this car revs at only 4,000 RPM, it sounds awesome. Very well done. I don't know if this is because of the hybrid system, but Mercedes managed to get the best out of the sound of this car. That said, the engine, when you fully floor it, uh, I would say it misses the punch, but this is if you're used to the high performance SUVs. And to be honest with you, for legal speed driving on normal roads, this 53 is exactly the sweet spot. So if you're the type of person that is looking to get the most out of the performance from a SUV that you never ever anyway bring on a the truck, then probably you should look at for something like the 63S or the X6M and the competitors like the RS Q8. But if you are more on the smarter side, looking for fuel efficiency, then I think you can either go with the lesser petrol and diesel options or just pick this one. Why? Because this car is a statement. You still get the AMG patch, but it is much, much cheaper. And one big advantage about it 
the comfort is way better and unbeatable especially with that adaptive air suspension it is just amazing and you won't get that in the 63s <laughs> After spending the day with this amazing Mercedes AMG GLE 53, what do we actually think about it? It is very, very capable machine in almost every aspect. It drives extremely well, it has absolutely amazing interior, full and stuffed with technology, which actually makes you wonder, what's the point of it? If you want the best of the best, the tip of the iceberg, just spend your money on a Geely 63S with all that performance. And if you're looking for that fuel efficient, more friendly option, then consider the Geely 350D and the 400D. So it is actually a great SUV, but I can't justify its price for a couple of AMG badges here and there. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you made it that far to the video, you appreciate all the effort that we put into these videos that we are freezing at this location with all the footage that you just saw. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and expect more cool content. Thank you and till next time. <laughs>